Howdy folks, Doc here with Last Best Tool, and this is Milwaukee's newly designed stubby ratcheting screwdriver. It does have bit storage in the back, we'll get to that. It is quite a bit different than the previous version, and there might have been one in between these two. But anyway, this was kind of this weird um, push-out bit thing. You had to use, a, use something often because these got wedged in there so hard. Um, and the, the mechanism wasn't near as strong. But anyway, this thing is uh, part of a couple of new screwdrivers that Milwaukee has, new ratcheting screwdrivers. So they also have a longer one um, that they call, um, I think it's a 27-in-1 because it's got a whole bunch of different bits in it and does some other stuff. This is called an 8-in-1. And that's because it has um, six bits back here. Uh, and one bit in the chamber, and you can use this as a quarter inch nut driver. It also comes with this little stubby quick lock uh, extension, so that makes it a little bit nicer to use, but also gives you the option to just simply drop the bit right in the, the end, making it incredibly short. Um, so you can see here how that, that stacks up. Um, this is how it compares to the snap-on. That's one of my favorites. Um, it's obviously a lot shorter. If I put this bit holder in here, you can see now it's just a hair longer. Uh, of course, the snap-on has no bit storage. And if you recall, the snap-on, you turn this in the direction you want to drive the, um, drive the bit. The Milwaukee is exactly the same. I go this way, and it turns this way back it out, go that way. Now this has more back drag than any stubby I've ever felt in my life. There is a ton of back drag. In fact, PB Swiss up till this point seemed to have the most, um, but this Milwaukee puts the PB Swiss to shame as far as the uh, amount, of, amount of back drag. Let's see if I can get these two to talk here do it this way and it'll fit. So right here, um, you see that? It's spinning the PB Swiss without any trouble. Let me move that out of the way. It's a little bright. It's spinning that PB Swiss, no problem. See, if I turn it this way, but when I put it on here, it just spins the PB Swiss. And the PB Swiss has got a bunch of back drag. Uh, Snap-on and stuff like that, um, obviously no problem. Because even though this has a bit of back drag, not, not much, um, this is just a ton, a huge amount. When I compared it to a few other uh, small screwdrivers, I really do like it. It does have... Um, in fact, this is often how I like these stubbies right here, but if I put this in and play around with it on something easy to adjust back and forth, this is a little slippery, it's just a plastic ring, but they do advertise it's all metal and the ratcheting mechanism. Um, pretty good feel. This spins freely in the back um, quite easily, uh, but doesn't seem to, to get in the way at all. Kind of nice fit and feel in the hand. Um, you know, when I compare it to some of the others, other these are all ratcheting screwdrivers, uh, you can see, you know, it fits right in there on the small side, not quite as small as that, or this, these vessels, you know, they get down there in the handle side, uh, gear wrench on the larger side. But anyway, all of these are ratcheting. Some of them, in fact, a lot of them have bit storage of various kinds, whether you can easily get into it or not, or it falls out. Um, this overall, reminiscent of the PB Swiss as well, being able to just pop up a cap and reach in there. They do reverse the uh, direction of holding the bit. So these are bit up. Sometimes um, that can be, depending, if I've got like heavy lighting, I might have a little trouble seeing inside. That might be able to be a little easier to see. Um, in and out, no problem. This does stay down. Uh, it doesn't have quite the pop of the PB Swiss, but I'm not even sure they're making that one anymore. Um, but anyway, it's a pretty good deal, especially for the price. I, it was under 20 bucks. Um, and 
um, it it uh, does seem to you know perform quite well. You can get into you know some of these like this one on you know I've seen this as low as ten dollars. It's about a twelve dollar one. Um, you know you got to unscrew that, take it out. Overseas, this is made in in um, Taiwan. The Milwaukee is. Whereas a lot of these SATAs might be made in China or Taiwan. Um, but anyway, there it is. Uh, I, I'm pleased and it is a massive step above this thing. Um, and this wasn't useless. It just, it was a little wonky. Um, and mainly because of the bits, the extra long bits uh, and get, trying to get them in and out. It was not fast at all. For bits on this one, as you can see, it's a little hard to see. That's what I was talking about. I've got a couple of slotted um, I've got a couple of Phillips, one there, one in, in the chamber there. I've got one Torx, I think it's a T15, and then I've got a couple of squares. That's what it comes with. But of course, it also has this, and these alone sometimes cost, you know, seven to ten bucks for a good one. Magnetic strength on it is quite good. Plenty good for, for this. And I really like these small little ones. I do use those a lot. But there's a ton of magnetic strength, so no issue there. Anyway, there it is. The number on this is the 48222913. This is the ratcheting stubby screwdriver. And with that, dock out.